how did you get on with the butcher? Did he cut up rough or did you? That's what the Pathé reporter went out to see. And here's his report. To start with, there's lots of food about, even if much of it's out of reach for most of us. But how about pig's feet? They'll help out the tenpennyworth. We're importing lots of them. Seems as though our pigs haven't a leg to stand on. And black pudding is no mystery if you know what to do with it. And there are millions of rabbits, English ones, as well as these long-distance travellers. But at present prices, they've got to go a long way. But when it comes to meat, well, these luscious-looking chops come from the old ewe the butchers moan about. It's a double problem today for the butcher and the housewife. Not much meat, and much of what there is makes the butcher blush, though it's not his fault. Here's the ration for one book being readied. Two pennyworth of corned beef and ten pennyworth of steak. And it's an expert butcher who can cut exactly five ounces right the first time. And there's your ration spread out in all its glory. It's not the butcher's fault. It's his headache as much as yours. That's your ration for the week. There's no more. That's the same. That's the lot. Well, what am I ten supposed to do with that? What you like. That's well. two or not. Mr. Warner, what do you think of this new meat rationing? Oh, I think it's terrible. It's a terrible problem for us butchers, and even a worse problem for the housewife. I really pity her. Pity us, too. Now, Mr. Barnes, what is your message to the people of this country? Well, I think the people of Islington are getting a very, very bad deal. Also on the quality of meat and the quantity. And it should never be. Thank you. And when the Pathé reporter gave the ladies a chance, he got some good home truths. They tell me I'm two ration books, I can just have a piece of steak or chops, so this week I've got steak, next week I'll have chops. One week of meat pie, next week chops, they say we'll have to go on. But one little bit of steak on Friday, and blimey, we've had it for the rest of the week then. And we'd like to know what happens to all the offal. Uh, haven't the pigs got any innards? And besides, I think if they were to close a few restaurants and cafes for a little while and give it to the housewives, then we could feed our husbands in the proper way. Well, I think it's simply disgusting. Give us a faggot and piece of pudding like they did in the olden days, then we've got something to say. And a nice meat pudding. Good God, what does a man live on? Lump and some meat? Disgusting. <laughs>